at 11, it sounds like something straight out of a science fiction movie. Patients growing new skin, muscles, even bone. Well, medical specialist Christy Krueger shows us how a South Florida athlete actually used pig cells to get back in the game after a freak accident. 22-year-old Kayla Ogle has been playing softball as long as she can remember. But the Barry University senior thought her days as a center fielder were over after her middle finger on her throwing hand got caught in a door. There was just blood going down my hand. And I was wearing a long sleeve shirt, so blood was just all over it. And I looked down, there was blood all over the floor, and my finger was there on the floor. Kayla can smile about it now instead of losing part of her finger. How are you doing? Good. Dr. David Sanasa helped her grow a new one. The amazing medical breakthrough all begins with pigs. As you can see, it's very thin. It's like paper. This is a cell therapy made from a pig's bladder. Dr. Sanasa attached the material to Kayla's finger, where it acted as a sort of scaffolding, stimulating human cells to reproduce. Whether that tissue is an abdominal wound, a fingertip, bone, muscle, um, this allows us and the patient to regrow their own tissues. It took Kayla three months to grow a brand new finger, and now with rehab, she's actually back to normal. In fact, not only did she grow a new finger, she grew a brand new nail as well. This powder, also made from pig cells, was applied every day. We would just hope to get some length on the fingertip because she's uh, an athlete, just so she can grip the ball and actually bat. Um, I told her that she should expect that she won't have any nail growth. And to our surprise, she even had her complete nail grow back. I'm not like... Today, Kayla is back in the game, thankful for this amazing medical miracle. I just thought it was going to be this whole life-changing thing where I would look different and be subconscious about it all the time. And now I'm just like, okay, I have a nail, I look normal, and it's not that bad. And this therapy is also used to help burn patients, people with diabetic wounds, and even cancer patients. With your health news, I'm Christy Krueger, Local 10 News.